A warm welcome. Plenty of excitement in the air tonight here in North London. My name is Derek Ray, positioned here on the commentary gantry, and sitting next to me, ready to give you all the analysis, is Stuart Robson. And very much looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League. It is Tottenham Hotspur up against Leeds United. Well, Derek, as is always the case, the team that dominates midfield would be the team that controls the flow of the game. And that, for me, is the area that's key today. Now we're focusing on a player who just seems to get better and better and better, Hume Min Son. Stuart, what sort of performance might he produce? Well, Derek, he's the perfect finisher. He's got a great shot on him, his movement is excellent, and in 1v1 situations, you always expect him to score. Introducing the Spurs starting 11. Hugo Lloris is the goalkeeper. Hyung Min Son plays with Lucas on the flanks. And the responsibility of leading the line today goes to Harry Kane. And a look at the Leeds United starting 11. Well, I'm just a little worried. They might be too negative here. They're certainly going to be hard to break down with that five-man midfield. But will they have enough going the other way? I'm not sure. It's a very attractive match in prospect, and it's Tottenham Hotspur who get things underway. the kind of player you want from your defender and a bad pass it was well I think just lost his focus for a second and a throw in conceded Harrison Patrick Bamford Mateusz Klich and with that the attack fizzles out Kane Son here's Ndombele Harry Kane tenacious tackling excellent defending there Jamie Shackleton Here's Rafinha. Calvin Phillips. Jamie Shackleton. Cleach. Rodrigo. Well, pass after pass. Maybe they can chisel an opportunity. Patrick Bamford. Cross could be useful. And the danger still on. Well, good clean catch by the keeper. Reguilon really closing him down. Ndombele. Now Harry Kane. Now the attack looks promising. Kane. And a chance to whip it in here. Lucas Moura. Now Son. In search of space. Rodrigo. Mateusz Klich. Jack Harrison has it. Cooper. Dallas. Dallas. 
Stuart Damas. And now it's Phillips. Rodrigo. Now let's see what they can do here. Happy to take on the shot. Able to get a body in the way. Harry Kane. Rebier. And here's Dombele. Easy save. Lucas Ndombele Kane and here's Dombele Rebier must take the lead here and the challenge crisp and clean Calvin Phillips Rafinha can't argue with that little move and very deftly cut out Cooper well there you have it in terms of possession there's not much in it it really has been a hard fought battle so far one of these teams needs to start taking a risk or two now he must favour the cross. At times they make passing look easy. Teammate available. To jump in front. And it's there for him. Very straightforward for Hugo Lloris. And an astute piece of defending. Rebier. Here's Ndombele. Rebier. Lucas Moura. Well, a top-notch piece of defensive judgment. Harrison. Mateusz Klich. And now they have the ball back. Ndombele. Romero Oliver Skip Harry Kane and return to Dombele given away by Tottenham half time then here in the English capital so here we go into the second half at the home of Tottenham Hotspur Phillips Cooper Mateusz Klich Jack Harrison has it he's managed to lose his marker well a chance here perhaps to invigorate their aerial targets Trying to pick out a teammate. Well, thumped clear. Cleach. Doing well to keep possession. Patrick Bamford. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Hoybier. Well, he was one of their better players in the first half, but needed to be better still. Stuart, your thoughts? Well, he didn't contribute enough in that first half. I think he needs to work harder to get on the ball. He was far too static. In my view, he's got to make more runs behind this back line in the second half. Ndombele. Rebier. Lucas and Spurs now in potentially a dangerous position and return to Son surely and it's in 1-0 they've breached the defence
just look at this again. The combination play in the top third of the field was so precise. And then it's a pretty tidy finish too. Hits it hard, he hits it low, and it just makes it difficult for the keeper. A really nice goal. And the ball moving again. What sort of response will we see from them now? And room now out on the wing. The cross is on. That's how to blunt the edge of the opposing attack. And that's great work to keep it in play. Well, we're into the final half hour. Well, the counter chance looks very real. And they need to get tighter here. Fabier. Now some. Can't miss, surely. Well, he had a lot of ground to cover. Splendid save. Now sending it in. On the corner, too close to the goalkeeper that time. Rodrigo. Cooper. Mateusz Klich. Stuart Dallas. Crossing possibilities. This could be the equaliser. Well read to ease the pressure. Skip. On the ball, Reguilon. 20 minutes to go. And they're making a change. Ndombele Now Ben Davis Skip Ndombele Reguilon Here's Ndombele Now do they mean business on this occasion And credit is due for that good piece of defending James, Dallas, Phillips, he could pick out a teammate, might be dangerous, physically strong and secure on the ball, well still an issue here, And in the end, no damage done. Ndombele. Fabier. Son. Retaining possession proving difficult. And Spurs have the ball once more. Well, visionary passing. And the referee says corner kick. Substitution. Spurs to make a personnel switch now. Number three, regular to replace by. Number 23, Stephen Bergwijn. Who can he pick out? 
and did his job defensively Fabier looking for the angle Dombele and possession given away now counter-attacking possibilities here well, real difficulty keeping the ball. Son. Rebier. He just needs to remain icy cool. Can he finish them off? Needed to get there and did, but still the possibility. Plays it back. It's still alive. And the keeper was finally able to claim it. Well, what a great piece of goalkeeping. Firstly the save, and then the recovery. Brilliant from him. Well, that's how to break the spirit of the attacker. And the referee says that's going to do it for this contest. It is a Spurs success story. Well, Derek, it was very competitive. Chances at both ends, but I feel they were the better team, and they deserve their victory. I think it's accurate to say, Stuart, that this man was the light bringer for his side. Well, he gave them a really hard time, didn't he? His speed of thought was excellent, and he took the winning goal so well. He was brilliant.